Software like Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, and even some photo editing software, they allow for the use of LUTs. What a LUT is, stands for is a lookup table. And it's kind of like a preset, except also very different. LUTs do not allow for local adjustments. So the conversion from a Lightroom preset to a LUT is not exact, but it still is pretty fun and it gives you the ability to use some of my presets. For example, ones that include color toning or monochrome toning. It'll allow you to use those in video editing software or even some photo editing software, like I said, that accept LUTs. Now, I use Final Cut Pro for my videos. Uh, I do not use Adobe. Adobe actually includes, um, it includes LUT editing by default, whereas whereas Final Cut Pro does not. With Final Cut Pro, you actually need to install a, a plugin software that actually adds a LUT control. And what I did is I have one from Pixel Film Studios called LUT Loader. And inside of that, uh, I can go ahead and I can choose a LUT preset that I have in the folder already. Or if you have one that you want to experiment with before you sort of install it permanently in your LUT preset folder, you can hit open external LUT. And then I can just go ahead and I can navigate to where I have uh, my, my, uh, my presets and, and whatnot that I want to experiment with. So here we are inside of the LUT for the streets bundle. And I'm going to go ahead and just add color punch to this video and watch what happens here. You can see that immediately this video now has more punch. Now let me uh, actually make this a little bit larger so you can see it better. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit open external LUT again, and I'm gonna choose a different one just so you can see again, it's going to change by the LUT that I add. And these should closely match to my Lightroom preset or the Adobe Camera Raw presets. But if you went to the presets for Bag of Glass, for example, or uh, some of the ones in Developer Fixer Bath, they won't do much. They might actually do a little bit, but it won't do exactly what the Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw preset actually is designed to do. But the nice thing is you can control the LUT a little bit. You can control the saturation, the brightness, contrast, all that kind of stuff. You can add some toning to the highlights and shadows. Uh, and midtones, and, and you can even mix the LUT as the layer. So you can do a lot of things, but again, this is just a one-click solution to turn what was a very flat sort of raw video footage into something that was from a preset that I've created. So it's a lot of fun to be able to do this. And again, you can do this in Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, and even some photo editing software. So that is a lot of fun uh, to be able to use, take advantage of that. And if you do want to install these permanently into your LUT folder, you can do so. Just follow the instructions with your software on where you need to install the LUTs, and you will be able to use them in a quick dropdown instead of having to load them from an external file like I'm doing right here.